Hi, I'm hot. I mean, I'm Ryan Jinx, and I am in Tonsai Krabi, Thailand. I just spent a week here doing something I have almost never done before, and that is trying to be romantic. It was my girlfriend's birthday, and we decided to come here since she also likes climbing. And we had a, a little bit of a learning curve, and I've made other beta videos in the past about mostly Yosemite, either where to highline or how to get around the area, and I'm wondering if you guys like beta videos. I think some things, if you're ever gonna come to the Tonsai area, this stuff might really help you. It's not a typical brake test video. If you don't like it, tell me, just stick to breaking things in the comments. These are things I wish I knew about a week ago. Let's start at the beginning. Everyone who gave me advice when I came here was get the out of Bangkok when you arrive there. They were right. I should have listened to them. And then the other thing is you can get cheap flights down to Krabi from Bangkok. But if you've got climbing gear, highline gear, and camera gear and stuff. Is that like a propane tank behind there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't have enough baggage and you happen to fly hypothetically Viet Jet Air where you only get to take 15 kilograms is a check on? They charged us $20 per kilogram we were over. We paid $200 for excess baggage for a $129 two ticket flight. Just be mindful of baggage weights and limits. They're a little bit different. And then when you get here, Tonsai is not an island, but it sure feels like it. It is connected to land, but if you actually look at Google Maps, you'll find out there are no roads that come over here. Therefore, you need to take a boat. The boats take you 99% of the way here. They drop you off in the water. So if you happen to have, I don't know, wheeled luggage or a heavy haul bag you're holding over your head with the water up to here, you might be in Tonsai. None of these things are a problem by themselves unless you just don't know it and you have your shoes on. Another fun fact, in context of being after climbing season in May of 2022, and right after uh, the COVID quarantines have been lifted when you enter Thailand, come to find out everyone's over there in Rayleigh, the beach next door. So if you're looking for a party, <laughs> there it is, that way. It has two trails to get over there, except during high tide, it's a little bit tricky because to get around the rock to go over to the Freedom Bar over here, you might be up to water, up to your waist in order to get there. Also not a problem if you know that. And on a serious note, since more people are over there, that's more of like a touristy area, which sort of, more boats go that way. Fewer boats come over to Tonsai. Tonsai is a ghost town. That might have something to do with it. There's like only a dozen tourists over here in Tonsai. So getting a boat to take you over there, you can do that. Getting a boat to take you from over there back over here, it's gonna be pretty tricky. We'd have to call like our hotel to send their boat to come get us. And if it's low tide, they all just tell you to walk. It doesn't matter if you have 200 pounds of luggage. So if you are booking a ticket, which only costs approximately 100 baht or three US dollars per person to get a boat from Ao Nong, where roads are, over to the beach over here, most likely you're in a boat full of other people going to Rayleigh. And so you're not gonna get to Tonsai. If you want to rent a boat entirely, it's gonna cost you 600 baht or $18. So things are cheaper here in Thailand, but to travel around, fuel is fuel, time is time, boats are boats, it still costs some money. I do find lodging to be, I'd say half or a third of what I'm used to. Apples for apples for what you're getting. You can stay in Tonsai for like $3 a day. You're not supposed to camp here because you can't just shit in the woods. There's not enough woods, you know? But I'm just saying like, if you don't have electricity or any amenities, of course it's gonna be cheap. I also find food to be about 30% cheaper. So Tonsai is a climbing mecca. If you climb sevens or five twelves, everything's overhanging here. And then dry foot up, there you go, stand up. Nice. I was just like, Hoping, I went for a hope handful. I don't find the grading to be as hard as let's say Yosemite or Index, but it is um, a little harder than let's say a climbing gym that makes their grade soft. Does it take a, um, a little bit of work 
to get used to the blade glasses. Yeah. I find that quite hard in the roof because there's like a contrast. You have the sun shining down from behind. I've never done belay glasses. I like to use the uh, hybrid uh, ATC gri gri belay method. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Make the gri gri into an ATC. Oh gosh, she's way up there. So we found uh, one or two routes over here in the Tonsai area that we could work our way up. But most of the five nines or the fives are in relay. So most of the climbing is over there for us. The social aspect was over there. More shops and stores are over there in relay. Relay also runs their electricity 24 hours a day in most of the parts. Here we had a pretty nice hotel at Tonsai Bay Resort and they run it 22 hours out of the day. This is the time they're not running it and this is why we're filming. If you're in base camp, which is where most of the climbers stay, that is only supposedly got electricity six hours a day and that's at night so you can I guess run a fan but during the day you've got nothing. So a little history about Tonsai is all of the village or base camp was right along the beach until 2014 when Big Resort came in, bought all the land up, pushed everybody back into the jungle and it kind of took away the original vibes this place had. Just so you understand why base camp is now like a couple hundred meters back away from the beach where there's no wind. Something you should know about temperature is it can suck the stoke right out of you. Try not to climb in Thailand. Don't do it at noon in the sun. We uh, did not take care of ourselves during the two hottest days this week and it sapped our stoke. You make it look so easy. <laughs> wow. You have more truck bags than me though. Yeah, yeah, I had extra truck bags. So if you're like, throttle is up here, just expect it to be lower when you show up to climb grades you're not used to. We have got to do a lot of cool things here. It's just I find that I understand why a lot of people nap. We took a boat out to the island. Super cool to get into the water and see some fish and a lot of jellyfish. About 10 people a day get stung here by these jellyfish that are like this big. Just be mindful if you're swimming or walking along the beach, there's jellyfish. Now, a lot of places you may want to go are dependent on high tide. Like the water is getting closer and closer to our camera here. Walking just to and from Tonsai to Rele, kind of tide dependent. And then if you want to go climb at the wall over there, tide dependent. If you want to climb at one, two, three wall, tide dependent. We ended up pushing the limits of what we could do there. And Andrea was blaming me with the water up to her waist. Make sure you take lots of DEET with you. And we soaked all of our clothes in permethrin before we came and we're smearing picaridin all over ourselves and whenever I get lackadaisy about it I am a buffet. I don't think they've had dengue here for a while but it is the type of mosquitoes that do carry a bunch of crap. And don't drink the water or any sketchy food because you'll get what they call tonsai tummy. The weight loss program that thousands of satisfied customers have had. So a little bit more about seasons. More popular season around here for climbing is the December, January, and February. The climate data says the temperature's kind of the same, but everyone around here says it's less humid, therefore they're saying it's cooler. It's also less rainy. Supposedly we're in the monsoon season. Getting ready to climb. Oh yeah? <laughs> and it's only rain like every time we got on a boat. Without, um... Wouldn't be a boat ride if we weren't soaking wet in a storm. I know this kind of goes without saying, but drink a lot of water. I don't feel like drinking water and it basically kicks my ass when I'm not doing it. Oh, and by the way, the monkeys are in the trees. So if you're looking for monkeys, go like this and you're more likely to see them. Took us about five days to figure that out. Anyways, if you like beta videos for places that you might visit as a climber, let me know if you like that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Hold on, I got distracted by a bug. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me about the Krabi Vulcan? 18.11.